Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to use the TI-84 to plot points and help gra uh, graph a polynomial. Specifically, um, I'm working on this one here, 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2. And what I want to do is I want to use the table feature of the TI-84 graphing calculator to help uh, fill out this here. And that's just going to help me find some good xy coordinates so that way I can put some dots on here and it'll help me drop, draw an accurate graph. And that's what I'm interested in is can I draw this accurately. And so basically what I'm going to do is first of all if I try to type in 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2. If I do that here, okay, it's going to give me just a number in return because x means something. I have no idea. In fact, we can find out. x means 10. I don't know why but that's what it is, okay? Um, and so that really doesn't help us because it doesn't give us any kind of graph. Really, we have to be careful here, and this is a very common mistake for people that aren't used to this calculator. We need to do everything that we're going to do in the graphing mode, which I can get to by hitting Y equals. So you can see I've already typed it here to save a little bit of time. Instead of doing it on the main screen, I need to do it in the Y equals area. So Y1 is equal to 2X cubed minus 3X squared plus 2. Now, if I go and I graph that using the standard zoom window, that would be zoom, and then option six, which is the standard zoom window, it's going to give me what looks like an S curve, okay? And that's fine. That's an X cubed graph. Every cubic graph that we talk about is going to look a little bit like an S curve, okay? But we want to find the points that are on here. Um, and the easiest way to do that is to use the table. Now, you'll notice it's in blue up here above graph, and in order to get the things that are blue, we need to hit second first. So I'm going to hit second. I'm going to hit table. And the, the points I'm interested in are the ones here. And you can see that it's already been given to me here. Negative 1 returns a negative 3. 0, 2 is a point in the graph. 1, 1, and 2, 6. And the reason the table looks like that is because you'll notice that when I go to negative 2, I'm way off the graph, aren't I? I'm down at negative 26, way below this negative 10 line. And when I get to 3, I'm way above it. Okay, So I just pick some random points. Well, not random, but I pick some points here that we're going to fit on our graph paper. So let's go and uh, let's go and graph it. Negative one, negative three would be right here. Zero two would be right here. One one would be here, and two six would be up here. Okay. And now using this as a guide, it looks like I can kind of connect the dots by going like this. Come up here. It's going to be a pretty steep graph. Down, and then up. And that helps me give it a pretty good idea of what's going on here with this graph. So um, your job is to go through and do the same thing for your notes on this one here, an x to the fourth graph, okay? Um, and in the next video, this is the first video of today's lesson, in the next video we'll talk about the bottom where we talk about what's called end behavior of these polynomials.